KCR um, the Kids Classic Readers is a new series by Seed Learning which uh, we've written. There are 60 books at various difficulty levels, all at very, very early level, to help with this early reading. And the Kids Classic Readers is basically a collection of fairy tales and very, very famous international stories which are known worldwide, uh, stories from Germany, stories from England, stories from Asia. And uh, many of the students will already know these stories, possibly in their first language, uh, maybe in slightly different versions in their first language. So what we've done is put these together in uh, a series for students to enjoy with kind of material which they're familiar with. Um, and um, research has shown that kids really, really love these stories. And uh, we want to make the stories uh, appealing to not only the students but also to the parents and to teachers by making sure that these stories are written with pro-social values, that they are written that would help students understand the world and ethics and morals and uh, develop a sense of, uh, of these things, which is an important uh, part of growing up as a child reader. We wrote the Kids Classic Readers to fill a gap in the market. Um, we found that um, with the seed learning catalogue that we have, we need to start kids at really, really low levels. And we need to make sure that the kids are ready for more difficult material later. So the background of knowing these stories, or knowing many of these stories, will help with their schema, help with their background knowledge, will assist them when they're dealing with some of the more difficult language in there. So what we did with the series was to identify the vocabulary that we needed at various difficulty levels. And we were very careful about making sure that the, the words used at one level were only used at that level. And then the second level used the words from the first level plus a few more and so on and so on. And we were very, very careful to make sure that there were not too many unknown words for the students which would lead to uh, comprehension problems, would lead to a breakdown in, in, in understanding. And so we've written them very, very carefully, both grammatically and also um, from a vocabulary perspective, to be just about where the students are, so they can move from level to level without too many difficulties. Um, in many uh, series, we find that the gaps between levels is too wide. So when students finish level one, the jump to level two is too high. Reading speed goes down, confidence goes down. So we wanted to keep the levels as close as we can together so that we would have uh, an easy transition from one level to the next level. And then they can move on to later series uh, that we have in the seed learning program. Um, KCR, the Kids Classic Readers, can be used in many, many different ways. Um, one of the most important ways for early development of reading is probably to be guided reading. So it's good for teachers or someone to be with the child while they're learning to read, just to see what their reading problems are. And the Kids Classic Readers is written so that they should be comprehensible. The early part of the book, uh, there's a little glossary which has pictures of some relatively rare or unknown words, maybe the students don't know, which they should study before they start to read, so they are prepared to read them um, and they'll be ready to understand them when they meet them in the story. So guiding the kids at this early level is really important to identify any potential reading problems. Now if they don't have a uh, reading problem, say a phonics issue or maybe slight dyslexia or something, then they can probably move on to individualized reading where the kids can pick and choose which books that they have at a difficulty level that's suitable for them. Um, now the students can free select their books or they can be told by the teachers which ones to do. And that depends on the teaching situation. But what we would typically find is that students would go from level one through level two to level three. You don't have to do that one. They may find that a book at level one isn't particularly interesting for them, but a book at level three is something that really excites them and they want to read that. So we should be a bit flexible. The series is tight enough in terms of levels. There's not a huge difference between level one, level two and level three. So they can kind of read just about anywhere. And the picture support in the books really, really will help them to understand. Um, what we would like the students to do is to not only just read the books, but also share their reading. We want them to be able to talk to the other students or report to the teacher, maybe a book report or maybe writing a poster or something else that they can do to uh, transfer that reading, that knowledge, that love of reading, of the story that they've had. 
Another thing they can do is maybe compare the story that they have read with the story that they've heard in maybe Korean or in Japanese or in Spanish or in Arabic and to see if there's a difference between the two. So there's a wide, wide, wide range of materials out there and there's a wide, wide range of doing these things. And uh, basically anything that helps the children to love to read and to continue to read more, basically that's fine.